my Brian squad. It is your girl Brian Bree, and I am back with another freaking video. If you're new to the channel, make sure you go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. But if you're already a part of the Brie gang, thank you so much for tuning in for another freaking video. I know you guys see the title, okay? I know y'all see the thumbnail. You already know what's popping. Now, y'all know I released the video. Was that yesterday? Day before yesterday. Um, telling y'all about me being back at work for two or three days, and someone had been basically diagnosed with coronavirus in another building now i couldn't remember if i told y'all i need i should have went back and watched the video before i made this but i didn't so whatever but so i think i told y'all about the girl getting escorted out and i was eavesdropping and kind of heard that they wanted her to go home you know just in case or whatever like that she was exposed to COVID 19. now y'all see how i told y'all i heard that so I'm at work today. Now I know y'all saw the video I uploaded in my garage earlier. I was doing that video. Come back. We got an email about the girl. Now they didn't say it was her because you know it's against HIPAA to let us know who is sick or anything to do with any of that unless they say that they can say their name. So I'm guessing of course she didn't give consent. So we get an email and they say okay a dallas home office employee has tested positive so when i saw that i automatically knew it was the girl that i had told my little co-workers about told tisha about it was her because she still hadn't returned to work okay so that lets you know the type of bullshit that's going on and why i was so pissed off and y'all i'm not even gonna lie i was in full blown tears because it pissed me off so bad because i knew it was her and in the email they said oh you know we notified everyone that was in close proximity to her there's been a deep cleaning done but no that's a fucking lie because let me tell you why <laughs> that's a fucking lie because you didn't notify me we on the same like aisle okay she walk up and down the same aisle as me push the same door as me to go out to the bathroom go in the same break room go to the same printer and scanner and all that shit and we weren't notified that day and if you did a deep cleaning it went until later on that night or the next day so it was like, no, you didn't notify us and no, there was no cleaning done immediately. So that really, really pissed me off, okay? All types of people at my job are sending in emails, trying to work from home. They're saying, oh, you gotta have an underlying condition. But today, after that email, more and more people were upset. People were in there crying, like me, okay? Cause I was at my desk, but other people were out there crying, saying, you know, they have kids. They're the only parent for their kids. What if something happens to them? You know what I'm saying? Everybody's trying to request not to be in the office and they're basically trying to make people take like unpaid time off. Like, no, no, we were just working from home. Why can't people work from home now? Like the shit is getting worse. Like the thing is we're going to end up getting closed back down. They've already closed our bars back here. Okay. In Texas, Dallas, they have closed the bars back down. They can do delivery and stuff like it was in the beginning, but they can't have anyone come in there anymore. They are dropping the restaurants from 75% capacity to 50%. They can't even have all the people that they can have because the shit is getting out of hand. Like, it's really out of control. And it's this time, it's these type of times where it shows who really cares about their employees and who really cares about people's well-being because this lady was legit sitting in there. I'm hearing my boss them in there laughing, kicking, talking. Like, life is great. Like, this girl's sick. This girl could die, you know what I'm saying? And they ain't here just living their best life. Not to say just to live in fear and to be scared and to be upset all the time, but like y'all in there laughing and they literally just shot this email out to us saying that this girl is fucking sick, you know what I'm saying? And we've all basically been exposed to it cause she on our fucking floor. So that part really pissed me off. And so y'all know I didn't stay at work. I text my boss, I said, I'm, I'm, I, I gotta take the rest of the day off. Like I was like, I gotta go. And guess what I did? I got my little bag and I got my keys and stuff and I left, okay? Like I was not gonna sit in there, like my mind was not right. I was not gonna be able to work. I wasn't gonna be able to focus. So I had to go. Like at the my, my like, like the headspace that I'm in, I don't even know if I wanna go in next week. I might just use PDO and just call in and just be out next week. The thing that's really scaring me right now is that July 4th is coming up. I don't celebrate July 4th because I celebrate Juneteenth. Hey, but anyway, um, so I'm not gonna be out. I wouldn't have been out anyway. Like I don't, 
like y'all know i told y'all like i'm not comfortable going out yet tisha's not comfortable we don't feel like going nowhere that we would have to take our mask off we ain't going out to eat like y'all see we get the house if we do we're gonna order in or something like that but we're not going to sit no fucking where we're not going to be around people unless it's like the grocery store or something like that now we have tested the waters and went certain places went to a couple stores and stuff like that but for the most part we try to just go and get stuff like snacks and food and come back home like we don't really be trying to be out because the shit is getting worse people think it's a game and it's not a game okay people losing their lives it's not a game one of my subscribers commented on that video and said feel like rocks in your lungs and like like something is sitting on your chest like i don't even want to think about that like i, I don't even want to think about getting that sick i don't want to think about bringing that home to teach her and she get that sick like i don't even want to be in that headspace like i just want to be back home working from home and the comfort here where i know that we're keeping a clean home and it's just us and we're not going anywhere you know what i'm saying i just you know god forbid like i get sick or something like like my job isn't doing a program to where we get paid if we get sick so it's like once I run out of PDO and I recover, well, run out of PDO and I'm still recovering, I'm not gonna get paid. So I'm not gonna be able to pay my bills. Is that what you're saying? Use up my savings. Then what about after that? Who knows how long it's gonna take for somebody to recover? So it's all just bullshit to me, but I wanted to come and update y'all on the whole situation. It's still very much present. Um, it just got a little bit closer, which I already knew, but I was waiting for them to confirm it and they now have. But they just talk about deep cleanings and how we're going to keep calm and carry on. Okay. All right. And this is coming from the higher ups, the execs, who probably aren't even really in the office or upstairs on the top floor in a big old office. And they don't have to interact with people. They got bathrooms in the office and shit like that. Like, y'all don't have to interact or touch other shit like we do or be around people. Y'all are up there in y'all big offices and y'all don't see shit or have to even interact with shit. They saying, oh, we got to... Now it's mandatory to wear masks, period. Y'all already said it was mandatory. What about the people in our building that aren't a part of our company who aren't wearing masks? What about all that? But they don't care. They don't care, okay? But like I said, I wanted to come and give you guys an update. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Please send prayers up for your girl, y'all, because look, your girl do not want to get sick, okay? I do not want to get sick like i was in tears because i just don't want to get sick y'all but until next time i will see you guys in my next freaking video bye